Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video about bags I've sold and why I sold them. I did a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see this video or popular bags that I won't be buying in 2020. If you guys still wanna see the other option, let me know, but this one won by a very, very little bit. So here we are, I'm gonna talk about the bags of my past. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with the bag that I have always regretted selling. Like this is a bag that is from a while back, but I've always regretted selling it. Like since I sold it, I've regretted it. And I've thought about buying another one and this is the Celine Nano. I will put a picture of it right here of the one that I had because I have pictures from my Instagram. Um, I adored that bag. Honestly, like I remember the feeling of the leather. Like it sounds so silly, but like I remember the feeling of the leather on it and I remember I just absolutely adored that bag. It was still one of my first designer bags and I was so over the moon about it and I ended up selling it to get something else and I don't even remember what the bag that I bought was that I sold it for. Like that's how sad it is that I, and I should have just kept that bag. And I think that I sold it to get the Speedy 30 Bandolier and like I went from the perfect Celine Nano, that lovely sweet, sweet bag to a Speedy Bandolier. Like nothing wrong with the Speedy B, but like, <laughs> That's what I sold it for? I'm pretty sure that's what I sold it for, if I can remember correctly. But yeah, that is one bag that I always regret selling because the prices on them now are about the same as when I had that bag back then, so I should have just kept it. Like, And I could have had years and years of wear out of it. It would have been amazing. And that, that is a bag that I still love. I still love the Celine luggage totes. Like, I still love those. Like, I don't, I don't know if anybody else is still with me here. Like, I've contemplated buying one, but I'm like, it's 2020. Should I be really wearing that? Like, I don't really care what other people think about what I'm wearing, but also, it is 2020 though. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's just a blast from the past for me. Like, I just, it just holds that excitement from back in the day. <laughs> now, the next bag, I, I made a mistake, guys. Like, I made a mistake. I purchased this really, really, really used and run down. If I can find a picture of it from like my eBay history, I will. I purchased this super rundown Speedy 30. Like no strap, no bandolier. It was the monogram print. It was, I don't know what year it was made, but it was really, really old. And normally I love vintage bags, but this one was just trashed. Like the handles looked like they had been through all of it, like all of it. And like I bought it because it was cheap. I bought it for around $400, maybe a little bit less. And I bought it because it was cheap. It was from a good seller, so I knew that it was authentic. And I just was desperate for a Speedy. And I, that was a mistake. The bag smelled so bad when I got it that I, I was living at my grandparents' house at the time. Like I was younger. Like I was living at my grandparents' house and like the bag came in and my grandma was like, you have to keep that in the garage. Like you cannot keep that in the house. It smells gross. Like, you guys, it was just a terrible purchase. And I, I wore it with like a little scarf around the handle so that you couldn't tell as much. Like Twilly Game was on point back in the day. But um, now I wore like this like cheap little scarf that I bought for like a dollar. And I tried to just like be okay with it. The piping was just done. Like I tried to be okay with it. I tried to look cute with it. It just was not working for me. And I ended up selling it. And I only sold it for like maybe like $250. Like that's how rough the bag was looking. Like it was not good. So that's the second bag that I sold. It was a Speedy 30. Another bag that I sold, this is actually a bag that I really, really liked that I sold. And it is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 55 Bandolier. I did a video about this bag on my channel actually. I think I did a packing to go to Atlanta video years ago, like probably like four years ago. And I really, really liked that bag. Keep All 55 was like the bag. Like that, I loved that bag. And if I traveled more, I totally would have kept it. I sold it because I was moving to LA and I wanted to like save some money to like ship my car out there, to get my apartment, all that stuff. So I sold that bag before I moved to LA. And if I traveled more now, I would buy another one. Like I would definitely purchase another one. I would purchase a new one with, that doesn't have the um, Vaquetta leather on it. I would purchase one that has like the darker leather. I've seen like they have ones with like black leather. They have ones with red. It just looks way cleaner. Like the, I, I got ringed on the very first time I took that bag out and I was so hurt. I bought it pre-loved on eBay and I paid, I think like $600 for it. I sold it for about the same. So I didn't really lose money on that one. It wasn't a bad sell or anything like that. But if I traveled more, I totally would buy another one of those. But yeah, one day I do plan on traveling more. I wanna see the world, see different things. So maybe one of those days I will purchase another one. So the next one is a very recent sell. I sold two of my Gucci wallet on chains. I only have two, so I sold both of them. Um, but I sold those two wallet on chains 
Um, I sold them on Fashion File. It was super easy. I just did it because I was like, okay, this is going to be super easy. I know what I'm getting into. They're going to give me a quote. I'm going to send it in. Bam, you're done. So I sold them through Fashion File um, maybe like a month ago. Like it's really recent. And the reason I sold those, the black one I used all the time. Like I use that bag constantly. And it was for going out. Like I used to wear, use it to go to the clubs, go to the bars. Everywhere that I would go, I would take that Gucci wallet on chain. And I bought it at an outlet mall near Palm Springs. And I love that bag. And I also had another one in like a floral pattern, which I barely ever wore. I've maybe worn it once or twice since I bought it like three or four years ago. But I decided to sell both of them because I do have another bag that kind of takes the place of those to go out. I actually have two. So I have the um, black Bulgari Serpenti like small crossbody bag. And then I also have my Chanel double flap, small classic flap. Did I say that right? <laughs> I admittedly have not been feeling well these past few days. If I sound different or like, if I like can't think of words right, that's why I haven't been feeling great lately. So bear with me guys. <laughs> so that's why I sold the Gucci wallet on chains. Um, they're just so small. And I thought about getting a Chanel wallet on chain, but I was like, girl, you are going straight backwards. Like if the Gucci wallet on chain was too small, like the Chanel wallet on chain is still small. Like what are you doing? But it's so cute. But I didn't do that. I bought the Chanel small instead. <laughs> okay, so the next bag is a bag that I actually really, really liked. So I had the Louis Vuitton Speroni BB. I don't know if that's how you say it. Like I can put the words on the screen. I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but it's a little backpack. It's the cutest little backpack. Like. I'll insert a picture, of course. It's the cutest little backpack. It was in Damier Azor, and I sold it because it was in Damier Azor. So I bought that bag pre-loved, and I, I loved it. Like, I really, really wanted it as soon as I saw it. I was at the Louis Vuitton store in Palm Springs, and when I saw that bag, I wanted it, but I didn't want to, like, pay the full price there. I was like, I can get one that's pre-loved and save a little bit of money, <laughs> like always, like I always do. And so I found one pre-loved. I bought it and I wore this bag all the time. Like this was my like go-to summer bag. I would take it everywhere. I was not careful with it whatsoever. I was just running around Venice Beach with my little backpack and like my little t-shirt and jean shorts on. Like that was me all the time. <laughs> I took that bag on nights out. Like I took it where it should not have gone. Like <laughs> I took that bag way too far. And the inside of it is pink. I don't know if it's rose ballerine, but it's like a light pink color. And um, that it was just, it was getting so dirty. And I was like, if I don't sell this bag right now, I'm gonna lose all the resale value that it has because it's gonna get so destroyed because of the way that I just abused it. Like, and it was also super hard to get that little snap close. Like there's like a little snap closure on the top and it's so hard to line that up while you're doing things. And it was just, I didn't like that about it at all. So that bag is literally like the softest, smushiest feeling bag ever. Like if you hold it, you're gonna fall in love with it. Like it just, since it doesn't really have any structure to it, like you can just hold it and smush it and it's so, so cute. I love it. Oh, I almost forgot about this bag. I'm glad I made this list on my phone because I almost forgot about this one. And I don't know how I could. I've mentioned it in videos before, but it is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I purchased this bag for myself when I graduated from college after I had been working like my first big girl job for a couple months. I went out to the Louis Vuitton store at Somerset Mall and I purchased me a Neverfull MM and I was the happiest girl on this planet. So <laughs> I wore it for a while. I love that bag. Like there's, I don't think that there's anything wrong with a Neverfull. Like don't get me wrong. I do not think that there's anything wrong with a Neverfull. I feel like though, after you have one for a little while, after you've been using it, after you see about 150,000 other people, you know, using it too, um, you just feel like it's 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 good. It's 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 done in your collection. Like after a certain point, I feel like you. And this could just be me, but I feel like it was time for me to retire that bag. And it didn't get. It, it had almost no signs of wear. Like that was the great thing about it. I used this bag very consistently for like three or four years, and it had almost no signs of wear sold it to fashion file because i just didn't use it anymore like it didn't make me excited anymore it didn't spark joy for me anymore so i was like nope it's out of here it can go if i don't use something it's got to get out of here so i let that bag go um almost a year ago no maybe a little bit more than a year ago actually so i haven't had that bag in a while and i don't miss it at all um i i do love the neverfull as a bag but i talked about this in my best bags for work best bags for everyday use school all that i talked about that in that video and i said if you're gonna get something like that, I really think that a good alternative is a pre-loved Hermes garden party because you're getting, you can buy back this like full leather, 
together. It's very classic. Like it's not going anywhere, not going out of style. You're not going to see a hundred thousand other people with it. And it's also very understated. I think that that is a very classy bag and I love it. And I would vote for that over the Neverfull. The Neverfull is great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to bash the Neverfull, but it has seen its days. Like it's everybody got it. Oh, everybody. Oh, I'm not saying anything's wrong with that, but everybody got it though. I'm just saying everybody got it. So the next bag I'm gonna count because I was trying to sell this bag. I ended up deciding not to sell it and then I am gonna try to sell it again, I think. I don't know. So it's my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier and I really like this bag. This is actually a bag that I have gotten a lot of use out of. I just don't feel that it goes with my style anymore. I don't feel like it goes with my wardrobe anymore. Um, and it's just time for it to exit the collection. There's nothing wrong with her. We love her the same, but it's time to make room for new bags. And I've decided that I'm good with the number of bags that I have in my collection right now. I'm good with where my collection is. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna buy more bags. I'm just saying that if I do, I'm gonna sell something first so that I don't keep just collecting and collecting because I wanna still be able to have like a few enough bags where I can still appreciate everything and really like give everything the use that it deserves. So there is one bag that you guys haven't seen. I know I mentioned that and I know I've been teasing it and I'm sorry, but I'm just not ready to show you guys yet. But other than that one bag that I've added to the collection, anything else that I bring in, it's going to be because I sold something. So that is how this collection is going to work from here on out. So even though those are the only bags that I've sold so far, I will be selling some more bags probably in the future. I already have kind of in mind <sighs> two of my bags that are going to be sold um and i've been thinking about for a while now so i will share that with you guys when it happens and yeah that is the list of bags that i've sold and why i've sold them i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one as always if you guys have any video ideas leave them down below for me and i'd be happy to try to do them and also follow me on instagram my instagram is swan x don <laughs> and we have a lot of fun over on instagram and i've also been trying to make some instagram tv videos lately so come through but yeah i hope that you guys are all doing well and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys